In what's shaping as a major selection surprise, Cooper Cronk is set to be rested for Australia's crucial Four Nations showdown against New Zealand. The Kangaroos and Kiwis are battling it out for the title of the best team in the world. Right now, the New Zealanders say they are number one. The rookie Roos got to meet some fans today, but it wasn't all play. The team went through their paces at the gym. There was some old school strength work mixed with the high tech. Here the player's quality of movement is being measured and assessed. And fatigue is tested to work out the optimal way to do their weight training. Two hours up the road, the Kiwis were training at Manchester City's new $370 million base. And Marty Tapao showed he's got more than brute strength to offer. He's got plenty of skill. It's quite, yeah, quite silky for a big fella. Johnson has all the skills, and they were on display against England when it mattered. He's not impressed there have been suggestions on social media that his match-winning play wasn't legitimate. Sean, did you kick that field goal? Yep. And social media has been saying it missed. Yeah. Social media says a lot of things these days, doesn't it? Johnson must have asked himself some questions after strong criticism of his last tackle options in the team's Perth loss. Was it because he hadn't played for a little while, simple as that? Uh, yeah, look, I'm not too sure. Um, that's probably the one that was probably easiest to go with. You know, you, you can't train for a, a test match. You know, you've got to be out there, you've got to go through the reps and feel the pressure that you feel of full contact. Despite scratchy form against Australia, Johnson says his team is still the world's best. Sean, the Aussies have been very vocal about saying, since they've been here, they're saying that they want to be the number one team again. I'd be asking questions if they didn't want to be. We all want to be at the top, we all want to be the best. So you still believe that Kiwi's number one? Yeah, yeah, we, well, I think that's, we're sitting number one in the world at the moment. Danny Widler, Nine News. Five-time Melbourne Cup winning owner Lloyd Williams has revealed he didn't have a bet on his horse Almadine yesterday. Williams believes old friend and high-profile gambler Kerry Packer wouldn't have been impressed. He would have been very cross with me yesterday because I thought the horse had a chance and he'd be saying to me that I'd lost my mojo because he, you know, he said, well, why haven't you had two or three million on it? That's what he would have said. Almadin has already been installed as favourite for next year's Melbourne Cup, but William says he's not sure he'll run the gelding in the great race again. There's been a shock omission from the Socceroos squad for next month's World Cup qualifier in Thailand. Tim Cahill has been left out with coach Ange Postacoglu worried about his workload. The Socceroos are desperate for a win on November 15th, having drawn their past two matches. Now, most surfers work their entire lives to compete against the world's best, but Sabre Norris is doing it at the age of 11. The surfing sensation from Newcastle is competing in the Sydney International Pro in Cronulla this week and has plenty of big names supporting her. Just 11 years old and she's already got all the moves. Tomorrow, Sabre Norris will make history when she competes against the world's best female surfers. I don't really feel like I deserved it, but I'm really happy that I've gotten this opportunity. Her idol is contest host Sally Fitzgibbons, who's got plenty of advice for Sabre about surfing and good living. My record for pizza was two large pizzas from Pizza Hut in one slice. Like, and that was like the first thing I told her about me. And she, it probably wasn't the best thing to say, and now... Um, because before I didn't eat a veggie, well, except for corn, but now I have like 14 different types. It's advice she says she needed. Growing up, the daughter of Olympic swimming bronze medalist Justin Norris wasn't as healthy as it sounds. I was allowed to eat unhealthy because my dad was a bit fat. <laughs> I don't know, even because he was an Olympic swimmer, but he really got off track, really after that. Adding to her army of famous friends, Mick Fanning is now her coach. I sent him a video and then he like analyzes it and then he writes this really, really long email back to me. I can't believe that he um nice to me out of all the girls in the world. Her next goal is taking on the world tour by the age of 15. And given what she's achieved so far, you wouldn't count her out. Danica Mason, Nine News. What a delight she is. And before I go, another sports event, Peter, I beg your indulgence for a Please. few seconds. After 50 years of broadcasting and 37 years at the Nine Network, I have decided to retire. Now, I've been thinking about it for some time and believe this is the perfect moment to move on from a job I've loved so much. I can't wait to spend more time with my grandchildren, play a bit of sport rather than watch it, and travel with my wife, Anne. 
There you are, Pete. Done and dusted. 20 seconds. Well, Kenny, a mighty fine half century if there ever was one. You are. It's an emotional time for all of us and you've been such a great friend and mentor and carer for us all here at Nine and we are going to miss you so much. We love you. I'll miss you sitting there and me sitting here next to you. But Anne and your good self can go and explore the world and there's always a spot for you here. I'll be back from time to time. I hope so. And you'll be back till the end of this uh, uh, end yeah. of December. Yeah. Love you. Good on you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Kenny. Appreciate it. On that note, in the news ahead, fresh plans for Audi, the billion dollar makeover that will see bigger stores, more stock and cheaper food for you. And the free shingles vaccine that's now available for older Sydney ciders. Plus, one wrong move, now this climber's fate is in his cable. What happens next?